When we need to put the stars back on this image, we're going to go back in here to star processing. And now we're going to jump into star recomposition. From in here, we now have two sides to this. For the first one, we're going to select our starless that's how background and for the second one we have our star mask you can stretch these in here as you can see i often don't recommend doing like a full stretch from linear to stretch data because you don't have the same like powerful tools as you have in a generalized hyperbolic stretch now one thing that i don't necessarily particularly like about this is the stars kind of look painted in i don't necessarily like the look that cyril gives with the star recomposition but this is the way you do it in cyril overall it's a lot better than it was. So here's a method that I actually like a lot better. Right now I am in GIMP free tool and I just imported the starless and the stretched star mask. So I've stretched both of them to a point where I feel like it's okay and I've imported it. I put the star mask here on top of the starless. We're gonna jump up here to the mode where it's normally set normal and you can use screen. I think this just looks more natural when you use the screen function in here than what it does when you do it in Cyril. 